What up YouTube, this is your president, the Presidential Terrace, back with another exciting video. I'm here at the Florida State Fairgrounds, the 2022 Fossil Fest is happening right there. I move out of the way of this car. Basically it's like um, a fossil convention. There'll be vendors, there'll be activities for adults and kids, there'll be presentations. There's, um, there'll be artifacts and different fossils on display too to look at. Of course, also the purchase, like I said, from vendors. And I'm sure there'll be different kinds of jewelry and things. But I've been mean, actually, I've been mean to come to this event for a while, like the last three or four years. And I kept missing it. Either COVID or some other things got in the way. But I'm finally here at the 2022 one. I can't wait to get inside and check it out. All right, let's get in there and see what this is all about. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, and so should you be. All right. Well, we're in, and boy, there's a lot to look at. There's some a lot of the cool fossil displays I heard about. Elven remains from offshore Venice Beach. Cool. There's a huge row of these just here alone to look at. I'll show some of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. Here's one with some of the artifacts. Arrowheads and things like that. I understand it's basically supposed to concentrate on stuff that you could find in Florida. That is cool. A lot of great vendors and stuff to look at too. That's some of the fossilized wood. I always thought that was very pretty. Some of the colors you can get in that is really fantastic. This up. Uh, different kinds of teeth and everything. Fossil turkey bones. Bald eagle claw core. Mammoth teeth that was found in the Peace River. Different um, shark teeth. Uh, Horse teeth. Cool. Oh, here's part of uh, tortoise shells. Some petrified wood. Yeah, awesome. And, uh, check out some of the vendors and stuff, too. Paleo Park Fossil Mine. Basically, it's a fossil dig, like I've talked about at Dinosaur World. It's for the kids to dig through. They find some fossils, and they probably can keep a few of them. Looks like it's two dollars for that. A little activity for the kids. Well, they have a lot of choice of different fossils to buy. It's cool. They may pick up a few uh, things, I don't know. Definitely a lot of jewelry. I'm gonna look around here a little bit with the um, uh, vendors. I'll show some cool stuff that's for sale. I'll probably pick something up for myself. Just gotta check it out. All right. I still collect fossils a bit, not as much as when I was younger, so I can easily go crazy here and buy a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, look at that bone. Wait a minute. That big one's $3,000. That's $2,500, that one. That's $1,500. Oh, 
Uh, mm. it's, it's all about a lot of cool stuff. Oh, look at these. These are cool. I always like these. See the imp see the imprints. Just think how long those have been around. That one's 200 bucks. I have a few of these uh, at home, but they're only like small fossil fish. Okay, well, I'm gonna look around a little bit and pick up something too. But they have a lot here. And along with fossils, they have some actually more modern bones for you to pick up too. Actually, I have a few alligator heads, but still has a skin on them. I got a long time ago. Some different skulls. So, there are a lot of books here. I might pick up a book. I've seen some interesting ones when I first came in. I may check them out. But, uh... A lot of big variety of stuff. A lot of different like minerals and stuff too, not just fossils. I have a whole bunch of these from when I was young too. That one's definitely pretty. Got a little blue right there. It's amazing, there's a huge variety. Boy. Well. There's definitely a lot of shark teeth around here. I don't have any as nice as that, but that is 400 bucks. But that is cool. Shows the tooth that big, how big the shark was. This is who's selling them. Wow, look at this is cool. This is all those little baby trilobites. See, that's like a, what I like about these is like a, it's like a moment in time, like a photograph. I think they're all crawling around and something happened. They all got buried and they ended up getting fossilized. That is $150 if you want it. Trust me, I would if I could afford it because that is cool looking. I always like these things. One of the most favorite kind of fossils is that kind. Oh, this is cool. This is from 1979. The book would a bite. It's basically comic book stuff. It is definitely kind of interesting. And a lot of cool, interesting books. Oh, I remember that show. I remember this show when I was younger. I used to watch it a little bit. Oh. That is cool. Then some more dinosaur cards. Hmm. You see a lot of books and DVDs and stuff. Some movies, but then some informational things. Probably would just buy one about the actual like documentaries ones. Trying to focus on it. Looks like some cool dinosaur toys. I still have some of these left from when I was a kid. I always like these things. Not as realistic looking as I'd like, but still awesome. Well, I bought my first thing. I got this for my mom because I know she'll probably like this. It was only eight dollars. Very pretty, I think. What do you guys think? All right, let's keep looking around. really want to pick up as a dinosaur tooth, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. Not going to focus very well. There's a lot of choices with different teeth. I'm going to pick one up. It all depends on which one. Now uh, this is cool. This is a fossil turtle shell. That's $650. That would be nice. But that's a bit out of my price range. Very tempting. Ooh, look, a Spinosaurus tooth. Now, I always wanted one of these. 
$200 for that, but that is lovely. Still a bit out of my price range. I gotta say, this is the most fossils I've ever seen in my life. I am gonna get something, definitely a tooth probably. It all depends on which one, of course, what I could afford. Well, it's not a tooth, but it is still kind of cool. This is a fossilized march fly. The man who sold them, he says it's about 50 million years old. Pretty cool, I think. It was only $10. Comes with a nice, cool display case. I still think I'm going to get myself a tooth, though, so let's look around. But, yeah. Whoops. Come on, focus. It's a lot to look at. Not as many activities for people as I thought there was going to be from the description. But maybe they haven't scheduled it out throughout the day, but this is the last day for it. It was only a two-day event, so... It doesn't matter because I'm having fun. I'm seeing a lot of cool fossils, so let's get moving. Gonna be looking down there. I haven't checked down there too much yet. This is cool. Some old beadwork. Some Flores Spanish Mission artifacts. It's like different kinds of nails and things. That is a nice display case for that. Oh, I don't know. There's so much stuff I want to buy. Just gonna have to uh, be careful. Here's some different kinds of pottery. Plus more shark teeth. It's $450, this old um, jug. Cool, some artwork too. Look at that um, right there. Look at that jaw. That is big. I'm gonna assume that's from some sort of cow or something. I have no idea. While I collect uh, uh, fossils, I'm definitely far from an expert. Oh, well, there's a big picture of a shark if you want to get a selfie. I think this, uh, I think this says this is sulfur. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I used to buy, I used to put on the, my club show. Ah, I see what And so I would buy collections. But we sold everything. These are always cool. I have a few of these at home. Absolutely. The designs on them is really impressive. I bought some t-shirts. Unfortunately, they did not have any for this year for men's. But previous Fossil Fest, so they were pretty cheap. Two for 14 and one for eight. I actually got three of them. You know they're not the current year. They're still pretty cool, I think. Look at these things, guys. I like the shark one. How much? Has actual teeth in it. Uh, three. I, I think 30. No, I think 35. Very pretty. Look at those. Those are awesome. A lot of nice stuff to buy and to look at. I could spend hours here looking at all this cool stuff. Yeah, they're more expensive than you think. Oh yeah, I saw them. Hey, those are 12. That one's 12, I think. I have some of these at home. These are always very cool. Now look, this is supposed to be mammoth hair. I wonder. I guess you wonder how they got the hair. Could be from where they've been frozen, like the tundra or something. You may think about coming back and getting one. Let's think about it. That's probably one of the most unusual things I've seen here for sale.
Lightning Strike Fog oh Fogret. Ah, Polk County. So definitely near here. <laughs> this is cool. I bought some woolly mammoth hair. Decided to go with this guy. There was another bunch a little bit more from another uh, dealer. It was you got a little bit more hair. And, but it was a little bit more expensive, but it didn't come in the cool case, and I really want the cool case. It's supposed to be Woolly Mammoth here, and it was only $12. That is awesome. Alright, whoops. Let's keep looking. I'm gonna, I'm still hoping to buy a tooth, I don't know. Gotta find one that I, uh, is in an acceptable price range. I'm surprised they don't have the little, um, eating spot open. So when I came to conventions here before, it wasn't in this building, it was in a different one. They normally have a little food station open for people. Oh wow, Those, these pyramids, that is pretty. Look at this. That is just gorgeous. And that is actually not very easy to make. I've seen some videos online how they make those things. How much tougher do you think? Look at the colors in that. I hope I'm not showing too little or too much. There's just a lot to show. And I don't want to keep being repetitive and show the same things even though there's a lot of variety of stuff. That's a big jawbone. There's some cool arrowheads I've been seeing too. I'm going to keep looking around. A lot of nice books, too. I almost bought a couple different kinds of books, which I still might. A lot of awesome stuff. A lot of awesome stuff. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that color. Jeez. $200 for that, but that is amazing. That's I love that blue color. A little bit too much, though, for me. But nice. Okay, I'm going to keep looking. Okay, I got my tooth. Not a dinosaur one. I'm going to get a little low on funds. But it's still awesome. There's a fossil rhino tooth from the, uh, 23 to 35 million years ago. This was only 10. Comes in the cool case. And couldn't decide between the two, so I just got both since they weren't too bad. Fossilized camel tooth or teeth from. 23 or 35 million years ago. So I got a tooth for my collection. Fossilized one. Awesome. You guys okay? All right. Um, Pleistocene survivors, you can use the term Pleistocene and Ice Age is kind of the same thing. Pleistocene is a technical term. So we're going to talk about animals that survived the extinctions at the end of the Ice Age. Everyone just calls me Dr. Bob. PhD is not in paleontology or in archaeology. It is an exceptional child education. I've taught for 35 years in Pinellas County Schools. It also is an adjunct at the University of South Florida in exceptional child education. So this is strictly a hobby. As my wife said, by the time you get to the fourth book, it's an obsession. So anyway, I spent a lot of time with it. So. When most of us think of the Ice Age, we think of these huge glaciers that were coming down from the north down into America. And we think of mammoths and saber cats and other Ice Age animals walking around in a frozen tundra. And these glaciers were massive. They came down, and if you were to walk up to the edge of the glacier back then and look up and up and up, they were from a mile and a half to two miles straight up of ice. They were massive. 
Think about today's oceans and how much water would you have to remove from the oceans to lower the oceans by one inch. There was enough ice on the top to lower the seas 300 feet or 100 meters, which is actually a little more than 300 feet. So Florida was this huge, huge, wide peninsula, much more massive than it is today. So there was so much ice on North and South America that it actually distorted the shape of the Earth. Now, we wouldn't have noticed it had we been alive back then, but whatever, however they measure those things, we are still in the process of an isostatic rebound, which means the Earth is still getting rounder and rounder, and especially with global warming, as there's less weight up on top of the North and South Pole, it's rebounding still. We may also think of dire wolves, saber cats, mastodons, glyptodonts, giant crown sloths, giant bison, ice age horses, and a menagerie of other beasts that are no longer with us. That's what most people think of when they think of the ice age. What we really think of is, say, the white-tailed deer and a host of other Ice Age survivors that are still with us. Odeocoilus virginiensis, white-tailed deer that they go out and hunt with Bambi, same deer that was around. Well, that was an interesting presentation. I'm not sure if we're going to show the whole thing in this video or I'll have part of it and then I'll show the whole thing in a different one. That's some big fossils. These things are cool. A lot of cool stuff to look at. This is interesting. That looks pretty old too. I saw these earlier, I wanted to take a look at them. All these are old magazines for like fossils and um, minerals and stuff. Back from 1978, this is cool. So they must have put them in these collector books back in the day. I don't know how much these are. Definitely a lot of cool pictures. That is interesting. A lot of different kinds of arrowheads. More like photo albums probably. And when you're here at something like this, make sure you be careful when you pick things up because they are pretty fragile. And usually if you break it, you buy it. That's a mammoth femur bone. That's pretty big too. Here's a sloth fossil. Some fossil ivory. Some cave bear fossils. Cool. Well, here's this amber, you know, like a Jurassic Park, and they found the bugs, the arrow to um, clone dinosaurs. This is what they got it from. Actually, I had a few pieces of this at home. I actually really like that color. I always thought it's very pretty. Let's see how much one of these are. I'm just curious. So this one is 25. Obviously, the more bigger the bug, the more impressive. It's gonna be more expensive. Okay. That is very pretty. 
These are 10. Got some at home myself. Uh, cow shark teeth. Definitely different from what I'm used to. Oh, this is awesome. That's um, bullets from the Civil War. 39. I'd almost be tempted to buy that, but I already spent too much today. But that is cool. I've watched metal detecting videos where they, they find boatloads of them all the time. If you know where to look. Looks like some, some Nazi stuff. Definitely not just fossils here, but some human historical stuff too, not just like prehistoric stuff. Very pretty. Some more teeth. Spinosaurus tooth. Didn't really want to buy one of those, but I don't know if I want to spend any more. Spent a little bit more over my budget today. I got some cool stuff, which I'm going to have to do a recap later. I'm going to look around a little bit and show you some more. Looks like, I, looks like I think I am going to buy a bullet today. There's one for five, and I definitely got to afford that. I get one of these. Just so I remember what kind. Awesome. This is cool. They have a touch table. So you can touch and see what different um, fossils feel like. Take a look. This is a horn coral. Cool. These are manatee teeth. Giant ground sloth tooth. Turtle shell. Well, I was recording I've tried to get all the There's a dugong rib. But I've certainly changed some of them. <coughs> Look at this tooth. Megalodon tooth. Yeah. It's a big one. A lot of cool stuff to look at. Now I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the kids pick something up and then they put it back down in the wrong spot. And I haven't memorized all of this. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Sometimes they get they, the label may not be in the right place. For the most part it is, yes. But every once in a while, you know, they'll switch something around on me and I won't notice it. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Very awesome. We don't try to destroy it, but we want them to come and pick it up and look at it. That's, that's why the club table, you know, the touch table is by the air. And so they can pick it up and feel how heavy it is and look at it. Oh, that's a Florida elephant tooth. Wow. You know. Jeez. That's about, you know, a third of a tooth or something. I mean, they're probably about that long normally. See? Elephants only had four teeth. One here, one here, one here, one here. And funny, our teeth, when we lose them, they grow up and out. Theirs did. There was like a conveyor belt. It would go and break off here. Sort of like your fingernails. They, they grew out rather than up. Right. Interesting. Anything you want to see? They got dinosaur poop here, too, you know. The copia legend. Yeah, I know I've seen them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Look at that one. That's huge compared look compared to my hand. That's three ninety five. And look here's one that's been split open with the light on it. Well, that is pretty poor best offer.
The largest ammonite ever cut in Florida, maybe the U.S. Weighs 50 pounds. Cool. Oh, no. That goes for that. Wow, can you imagine that? Jeez. That, that one's huge. If you want to buy the raffle tickets, we will be doing the last call of those for the next few minutes. Please come down and buy a few dollars or a thousand dollars for the raffle tickets. That's the cool, cool different, different decorated skulls. Last call, come get them. Now that's that's pretty. It is. I go uh, Prattware English 1890s Victorian. Oh, uh, uh, maybe I'll think about it. Okay. It, it is nice though. It's a really good deal. There's an old pipe pipe for two for twenty-five. I had 20 on the nice medicine bottle there. Epitome of the traveling uh, medicine show and snake oil bottle. Cool stuff. See anything interesting? Oh, this girl gave me one of these when I worked in the store years ago. See this? Her son was dying of brain cancer, remember? I told you, and this reminds me of her. her I know her son's gone now, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Nice. Isn't that pretty here? Well, if there's anything you want, if there's anything you want, let me know. Yeah, look, little wings. Yeah. Isn't that cute? A lot of people like those. It is they pretty. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. A lot of nice stuff. They need to come down here and visit. Yep. Okay. Didn't point, didn't point this one out last time. That's a giant fossil fish. It's right next to these books. Florida State Stone. Agonized Coral. And boy, these things really shine really great under the light. Looks like, like 58. You basically get both pieces. What's cool about this, think about it, this is all totally unique. No one will look the same. That is awesome. Wow. Holy moly, look up look at this one. This is 850. Not as heavy as you think it would be, I don't think. But I'm not picking it up because when something's that expensive, you don't want to handle it. And I bet you, if you drop that, that will shatter, I'm sure. You know, you know they have a certain smell to them, too. Very rocky, earthy. They're interesting. It reminds me of almost like old boot leather too, a little bit. It's definitely cool. Oh, look at that one. It's like a little cave. That one's 800. Don't they have a bit of a smell of them? Earthy kind of, stony. Yeah. Almost like boot leather too, a little bit. That's what I think. Awesome guys, a lot of cool stuff. That right, one has a little, little thing sticking out. All right, got one more thing I want to show you guys. I did get it. I got a pretty good price. A spinal source tooth, which has been on my want list for a while. But look at that, isn't that awesome? Comes in a cool collector case. Yeah, I picked up some cool stuff. I'm going to have to do a recap. I'll try to do a recap later. Maybe when I get home. But, uh, yeah, this is Fossil Fest. Pretty cool stuff. A lot of stuff I, um, i never seen before. It's probably the most, um, fossils I've seen in my whole life. Let me just put this here. Let me just put this down. Actually, I could do a quick recap right now. I, actually, I can't because I don't have all of it with me. It's in another bag. 
I got the couple Civil War bullets. Of course, the tooth or the um, we have a tooth. And then um, uh, I picked up a couple of little like dinosaur figures, you know, basically toys. An old book, a uh, children's book having to do with dinosaurs from like 50 years ago. The guy said I should have charged me more for it because it's vintage. I only paid a dollar fifty. You got three shirts. Um, you got three shirts. They're not for the current Fossil Fest. They didn't have any more from men. They only had the female versions of it, so I just got some previous years. It doesn't really matter what years the shirts come from, I don't think. Then um, I showed you the mammoth hair, a fossilized bug, the one little figure thing I got from mom. There's another thing I got for her that she wanted. She, uh, I know she, she, yeah, she wanted. It's a um, basically a tree, and it's full of like little, gla uh, not glass beads, but different beads made from like this pink rock. And then I got this frame thing, with a whole bunch of different like uh, teeth and some bones in it for only twenty dollars. And those seem I've seen for more money. So I got a lot of cool stuff. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. Um, if, if there's really interest in the recap, or if you want to see what I bought more by showing everything, I can always do a separate video and show off what I bought. But, um, yeah, I got some cool stuff. Spent more than I planned, but you know what? It was worth it, and I'm happy I came here. And I got to see at least one good, interesting presentation. All right, any comments, questions, let me know. I'm going to get going. I have a bit of a drive to get home. All right, look forward to talking to you all again, and thanks for watching. If I see anything else cool, I'll make sure I show it on camera. All right, bye, everybody, bye.